First of all, I will show you the CPU set on both. So this is the Exynos 990, you can see the CPU and all. So this is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865, you can see the cores and all details over here. So guys, let's close everything in the background, close all, close all and both are connected to the same Wi-Fi network as you guys can see both are connected to the same Wi-Fi network for Mania so guys let's get started the speed test so guys from the basics apps to the gaming section so starting from the settings in 3, 2, 1, go pretty much the same on both so guys left is the Exynos and right is the Snapdragon then moon to clock same on both calendar same on both anyways you guys are the judge my files in 3, 2, 1, go Wow guys, pretty neck and neck performance by both. Now CPU set in 3, 2, 1, go. Which one will be fast? Wow, Exynos a bit faster. Wow guys, then Xander in 3, 2, 1, go. Oof, neck and neck performance from both. Then Google on both in 3, 2, 1, go. Guys, a bit faster was Exynos in loading the feed and all. Then Gmail in 3, 2, 1, go. Gmail was a bit quicker on the Snapdragon. Then YouTube in 3, 2, sorry guys, YouTube was missed. So again, YouTube in 3, 2, 1, go. Uh, guys, the Exynos is a bit faster on YouTube too. Then Maps in both, 3, 2, 1, go. Yes, guys, uh, surprisingly, Exynos is a bit faster than the Snapdragon in the second row and all. Then Twitter in 3, 2, 1, go. Twitter is still Exynos. Then OLX in 3, 2, 1, go. That was pretty much the same. So guys, actually, uh, in the normal gaming section, the Exynos had a, just a minor lead of 2, 3 apps when compared to the Snapdragon. Let's open the main thing. That means the GTS Andreas. Yes, it's loading. Yeah, both are pretty much neck and neck. Let's go offline. and take start game on both and clicking both the start game at the same time in three two one go see which one open fast guys uh, i think it would be the snapdragon actually guys a bit a point one second or something like that or even we can say it's almost the same guys you can see a bit yeah a point one second or 0.5 seconds delay in the galaxy s20 ultra exynos you can see it clearly or you can see it's a neck and neck tie but a slight one second or half a second increment in the galaxy s20 ultra snapdragon so guys now we can just quickly just play the game so now this both games are in high-end settings on the both galaxy s20 ultras so first playing the game on the galaxy s20 ultra exynos and look This guy's playing much smoother as you guys can see over here. See no sorts of lag whatsoever in this game. You can see playing so well. Excellent. In the high-end settings too. Now going to the Snapdragon. Guys, same results. So I didn't felt any difference in the initial gaming in both the Snapdragon and the Exynos. Actually, maybe after continuous gaming sections, we may feel some differences, according to some YouTubers say. So actually, I will be doing a gaming detail, gaming review on this. And I guess let's walk for some time in both. You can see both are neck and neck guys actually no sorts you can see both well see actually i will say that's a tie in the gaming section
so guys let's move to the next one that's the favorite pubg mobile in three two one and go let's see which one opens first in the pubg i think it could be the snapdragon by a minor margin uh, yes one two three yes three seconds delay in the pubg just a minor so guys this is also in the maximum settings as i will show you guys settings settings graphics graphics you can see it's in ultra hdr and the frame rate is extreme now we can play games on both guys so starting on both nice in the s20 ultra exynos yes guys uh, it's playing smooth but i feel a minor no guys uh, it was just a doubt for me absolute smooth in both so let's go and check in this one guys actually i feel uh, the snapdragon variant feels much smoother than that of the uh, exynos variant let me jump out of the plane and let me check it later so guys playing on the exynos Guys, no issues. You can see well over here, the Exynos is performing so nice. But actually during the loading time, I did feel a minor uh, drop or something like that. It was not a drop actually guys, but still, but, but after that, I didn't affect any of them. That's why, but actually in the Galaxy S20 Ultra uh, Snapdragon, it feels much smoother than after Galaxy S20 Ultra. That So guys, nice performance from the Exynos model. Now let's go to the Snapdragon one. So guys on the snapdragon variant so guys actually this feels a bit smoother than that of the uh, exynos variant because you can see actually i don't see whether you can see through that but actually definitely yes it's a bit smoother than that of the exynos i don't know the reason why it's so actually while see So let's come back to the Exynos itself. So you can see on turning and everything, it, this one feels, see, let me show you clearly on both. So guys, if I am doing this turn, it feels the galaxy s20 ultra in the snapdragon is feels much smoother but actually it's uh, not worth actually almost same on both but a minor increment to the galaxy s20 ultra snapdragon version actually guys it's not worth mentioning that's both are handling pretty much the same but i still feel some minor improvements to the galaxy s20 ultra uh, snapdragon version so guys if you observe this one closely so you can see it's it's smooth but it is not as smooth as the 
Snapdragon version. See guys, Snapdragon handles it too so well. But actually guys, it, that's not a noticeable update when it comes to the uh, Exynos versus Snapdragon. But yes, it's a minor smoothening more to the Galaxy S20 Ultra's uh, Snapdragon variant while compared to the Exynos. So guys, I will, same running on both, I will just turn around and See guys, running pretty much almost same on both. So guys, uh, let's stop it here. So actually I do feel some more smoothness to the uh, S20 Ultra Snapdragon while compared to that of Exynos, but Exynos is still great. Actually, uh, no sorts of lags and hangs however but it is not as smooth as i played on the snapdragon variant you can still see not as fluidic as that of the s20 ultra snapdragon variant so let's keep it here on both so guys now we can just move to the next that means or just opening the chrome on the same time and uh, loading the same feed actually the galaxy s20 ultra snapdragon comes first while it's still loading we can just again move to some other and go to mobile mobile on both and then select s20 try s20 360 yes same on both let's see which one comes first s20 ultra snapdragon comes first then the s20 ultra exynos then again going to the Samsung one more time in 3, 2, 1, go. Yes, this one faster, a bit faster. Yes, now let's check the RAM management on both in 3, 2, 1, go. So settings in both clock, in both calendar, in both my files, in both CPU set, in both Xender, in both Google, perfectly in both Gmail, perfect youtube perfect maps perfect twitter perfect olx perfect then gts andreas and pubg three two one go gts san andreas yes perfect both in the memory going to home again pubg on both in three two one go so actually someone killed us that's why so guys uh, ram management on both is excellent actually while comparing the uh, performance on pubg in the galaxy s20 ultra exynos and the snapdragon i did feel uh, the exynos was a bit uh, smooth in handling the games actually it handles the games much more smoother than that of the galaxy s20 ultra but in galaxy s20 ultra i didn't feel any uh, major frame drops or lags whatsoever in the higher end settings so we have played the gts andreas and the pubg mobile both in the higher end settings that's available in the game itself so actually i did give a point to the snapdragon one in the gaming section but it's not a heavy margin when compared to the exynos, the exynos handles it's extremely great but a minor uh, improvement to the s20 ultra snapdragon and while compared to the heating S20 Ultra gets a minor heat in the frames and the back. Let's check the Snapdragon one. Actually, guys, both heat almost the same. Uh, both, actually, both. Actually, we will give a tie in the heating section. Actually, both heat somewhat, but it's not a heavy heating or something like that. It's almost an negligible one. So, guys, actually, in the gaming section the points goes to the snapdragon one while the in the normal apps opening time the exynos was a little bit ahead in some apps and also it's actually uh it's not worth mentioning that the uh, 865 is much ahead of the exynos but it's almost neck and neck but in gaming areas the snapdragon has a minor advantage when compared to the exynos so actually i will do a dedicated gaming review and a speed test exclusive speed test in two ways so guys stay tuned and subscribe thank you